Welcome back to Jersey Matters, I'm Larry Menti. When you think of ice fishing, you usually think of the coldest of states like North Dakota or Minnesota or Alaska. But our Vanessa Tyler went ice fishing right here in New Jersey. Larry, you know how we've been getting a lot of complaints about the weather, how frigid it is? Well, you won't get none of those complaints here because where I am in New Jersey, the more frozen it is, the better. Ice fisherman Jacob Myrick uses his auger to drill deep, deep into the thick ice at Bud Lake. It's a good lake. I usually catch fish here, meet a lot of cool people out here. Make no mistake, the fish are biting, big ones too. This northern pike is what, two and a half feet? Bud Lake is stocked. Those who ice fish know and come prepared with their tents and devices to detect movement on the lake's bottom like this flasher or the tip-ups you can see scattered on the ice everywhere. And when the fish grabs a bait, it triggers that and the flag goes up. For many, this is heaven. You set your bait, usually minnow, then go inside till they bite. We got the heated hut behind me so we could stay warm all day and it's just, it's a blast. You know, we all, me and him both have a great passion for fishing and uh, we get to talk with all the guys out here, share tips, you know, share knowledge on the, on the sport and it's great, it brings a lot of guys together even though it's freezing out. For the experienced ice fisherman, Bud Lake can be the perfect spot, but you have to know the limitations of the ice. Typically, if it's below 32 degrees for 10 consecutive days, it's safe enough to come out on the ice. I always come out and drill a, a hole close to shore just to see how thick the ice is close to shore. And if it's all right, I'll go out a little deeper. Not everyone is as careful. As a township, from a liability perspective, uh, we don't encourage use of the lake. I recognize that people are going to do it, and they have to be educated in ice fishing, and they do so at their own risk. Mount Olive Mayor Robert Greenbaum says people should know this important fact about the enormous natural lake in his township. Every spot may not be solid ice. But Lake in particular is um, somewhat problematic. Uh, it doesn't freeze evenly. There are spots that have warm springs, currents, uh, and even up to uh, last week, uh, I could tell that parts of the lake were not frozen through. You have to know where to go. There have been disasters on the lake. About five years ago, we had a tragedy in Mount Olive where two high school students uh, fell through the ice and drowned. The two teens have a plaque dedicated to their memories by the lake that took their lives. First responders have trained and are prepared to rescue here if they have to. Those out on the ice say they know safety first, then they'll turn their focus to catching the big one. On Bud Lake, I'm Vanessa Tyler for Jersey Matters. Still to come, a New Jersey hero is brought home. We'll remember him next.